हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैड स्टडीड अबाउट प्लांट्स ओके वी हैड स्टार्टेड दिस न्यू चैप्टर प्लांट्स प्रिपेयरिंग एंड स्टोरिंग फूड ओके एंड वी हैड लर्न फ्यू थिंग्स लाइक हाउ वी आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन प्लांट्स ओके डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली प्लांट्स हेल्प अस टू लीव टू सर्वाइव ओके एंड देन वी हैड ऑल्सो लर्न अबाउट पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट्स नाउ वील स्टार्ट with this topic parts of the plant because there are one or two things that are left which were not said in the last session that we are going to uh, discuss and then we will continue with the next topics so talking about parts of plants parts of plant okay if this is a leaf okay then in the middle there is one vein okay this vein is called as midrib okay and then and along the side of the midrib there are this veins okay this remaining veins okay so in the middle there is a midrib and along the side of the midrib there are veins also if you magnify certain section of the leaf okay you will find small or tiny pores in it or holes in it this tiny pores are called as stomata okay these are called stomata s t o m a t a this stomata are nothing but a respiratory organ of the plant okay jaise we have nose okay there are holes inside it through which we take in air we breathe out carbon dioxide similarly leaves also have this holes or pores okay which is called as stomata which is which helps them to respire to breathe okay they take in carbon dioxide they absorb carbon dioxide and they leave out oxygen and water vapors this oxygen and water vapors are used for us it is useful for us and carbon dioxide that we leave okay they are uh, it is taken by leaves or parts of the plants okay so in a way we are all dependent on each other okay well now i am going to show you some uh, important points with the help of presentation so be attentive if you have any doubt you can put your comments later on but let us start with the presentation now so today we are going to continue with the lesson plants preparing and storing food so let us immediately begin with part number 2 of the lesson so this we have already studied parts of the leaf okay so in the middle there is a midrib then along the sides of the midrib there are veins these lines which we can see okay these are called as veins okay there are other leaf parts also like there is a leaf blade okay then there is a petiole this is also there now if you magnify any part of the leaf uh, there are tiny holes inside the leaf or pores which we can call them as pores okay these pores are called as stomata okay this is a magnified image of the leaf though they look like leaf, they look like eyes right they look like eyes but these are tiny pores and they act like nose for the plants i repeat this tiny pores they act like nose for the plants what does nose do it helps in respiration similarly this uh, tiny pores which is called as stomata it also helps in respiration okay now talking about animals what does nose do for us it helps to take in air and leave out the carbon dioxide and other components of the air similarly leaves also they take in air and absorb carbon dioxide from it okay matlab leaves ko carbon dioxide lagta hai to breathe in whereas animals require oxygen okay after complete process we leave out carbon dioxide whereas animals they leave out oxygen so oxygen which is Uh, left by the leaves it is taken by us and carbon dioxide which we leave it is taken by plants so we are 
all dependent on each other so on the underside of the leaf there are tiny pores which is called as the stomata the spelling of the stomata should be noted down s t o m a t a okay singular is stoma during photosynthesis a leaf takes in carbon dioxide and leaves out oxygen and water vapor through stomata so it takes in carbon dioxide and leaves out oxygen and water vapor how do plants use their food the foods prepared by the plants is in the form of simple sugar i repeat food prepared by plant is in the form of simple sugar it is used in number of ways by the plants it is used to get energy some of it is used for growth growth ke liye useful hota hai the extra food that is left out is stored in the form of starch in different parts of the plant like leaves stems or roots and this is then used by us so we eat that part of the plant which has food stored in it this is one example what is this this is mango this is spinach this is green peas there are some more carrot and this is sugar cane so all these plants and their parts we consume them because there is food stored in it now there are some unusual plants like cactus okay they do not have any leaf as such okay but they have chlorophyll in it so they can prepare their food while there are some um, species which look like plants but they don't have any chlorophyll in it okay and it is in fact fungus it comes under the category fungus like mushrooms and molds they come under fungus okay the leaves of some plants like uh, croton have chlorophyll okay but they are not green in color so it is not necessary that every leaf which is green or uh, in color uh, not green in color it might be red also but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have a chlorophyll there are some leaves which are red in color but they have chlorophyll in it the only uh, reason why it doesn't look green is there are some other pigments of red color which hide the green color chlorophyll chlorophyll ko hide karte hai wo isliye dikhte nahi hai does photosynthesis takes place in these leaves the answer is yes it does because chlorophyll is present but it is not visible to aise leaves agar aapko dikhe jo red color ke usme chlorophyll rehta hai but it is hidden under the red pigments now the energy flow in living things we are all dependent on each other like i said earlier also plant leaf food and oxygen which is used by animals human beings okay and then we animals we leave out carbon dioxide and that is used by plants so plants and animals are both dependent on each other we need energy for every activity we do this energy come from food this food is prepared by green plants so whatever food that we consume it is prepared by plants so directly or indirectly we are all dependent on plants just like plant is dependent on us okay green plants trap the sun's energy during photosynthesis to prepare the food and this energy is used onto humans and animals when they eat the plants this way energy flows from sun to plants and then to animals and human beings so in this way we are all dependent on each other animals and plant depend on each other like i said earlier also animals need food to eat oxygen to breathe so plant give animals uh, the food and oxygen and that is why fish live longer in aquarium if there are water plants in it because they get oxygen from it plants need carbon dioxide to prepare food so plant need carbon dioxide which we breathe out animals breathe out carbon dioxide and it is taken by it is used by plants so in this way we are dependent on each other balance in nature this is very important why balance should be there because if any if balance is not there then one of the species is affected so balance needs to be maintained between the number of plants and animals what will happen if there is sudden increase in number of animals plants may not able to supply the enough food and oxygen to all the animals or if there is sudden increase in number of plants then the carbon dioxide that is breathed out by the animals it will not be sufficient for plants so both should be in equal number 
ओके सिमिलरली इफ देर इज सडन डिक्रीज इन द नंबर ऑफ प्लांट्स अचानक प्लांट्स कम हो जाए तो क्या होता है अगेन देर इज इम्बैलेंस इन नेचर एनिमल्स विल बी अफेक्टेड सो इट वी शुड ऑलवेज टेक केयर दैट द नंबर ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड नंबर ऑफ प्लांट्स शुड बी इक्वल इन नंबर ओके मेनी टाइम्स वाई दिस पॉइंट इज नेसेसरी बिकॉज नाव इज वी आर कटिंग लॉट ऑफ ट्रीज हम बहुत सारे झाड़ काट रहे हैं तो अगर प्लांट्स का नंबर डिक्रीज हुआ तो एनिमल्स पे उस पर उसका सीधा अफेक्ट होगा वी विल ऑल बी एंडेंजर्ड इफ यू कट डाउन ऑल द प्लांट्स सो वी शुड टेक केयर दैट वी शुड प्लांट मोर एंड मोर नंबर ऑफ ट्रीज एंड वी शुड नॉट कट डैम अननेसेसरी ओके सो दैट वॉज ऑल फॉर टूडे Thanks for attending this session. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask. Okay, we have discussed almost all the things from the lesson. Okay, you can raise your queries. You can write down your queries and send it to me uh, by putting it in comment box. Okay, or you can mail also. Well, uh, next time we will be revising this chapter. We will discuss question and answers. Okay, so see you during next session. Until then, take care. Bye bye.